Hello, this is Kerry with Two Digital Gypsies, and on the first day of our safari in Kenya, we stopped on the equator in Nanyuki. I've never been anywhere near the equator, so this was a real treat for me. When you stop, a guide, who expects a tip when he's done, takes you north of the equator around 60 feet and drops a couple of toothpicks into a container of water with a hole in the bottom. The toothpicks rotate clockwise and the water running out of the bottom of the container also swirls in a clockwise motion. Next we were taken south of the equator about 60 feet and the demonstration was repeated. Here the toothpicks rotated counterclockwise and the water swirled in a counterclockwise motion as it left the container. Finally, we went to a position on the equator and the toothpicks did nothing and the water didn't swirl as it left the container. I was convinced I was seeing proof of the Coriolis effect in action. I was wrong. After doing a little research on the Coriolis effect, I learned that while it will affect the rotation of large weather events like cyclones, it won't affect small events like we saw here. That's because the Coriolis effect is simply too weak to affect such a small container of water. So if you're on the equator and offered a demonstration of the Coriolis effect by someone with a small container of water, skip the demonstration, use the restrooms, and instead take a few photos standing on the equator. What we saw here was someone, somehow, manipulating a container of water. If you like this video, please share it and click the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Two Digital Gypsies.